welcome to a new tutorial. Today I will show you how to draw this piece in AutoCAD 2021. As I used to before, we will put this image into our workplace. First thing first, we will draw three circles right here. So the first one, it will be 16 in diameter. The second one, it will be 34. And the third one, it will be 52. So I will start applying the circle command. The first one, as you see here, I have just the radius. So I will not type the diameter, I will type the radius. So in my case, the first one, it will be 16 divided by two, it will be eight. The second one, it will be 34. So that means 17. And the next one, it will be 26. The next point, I will start to draw here. I will move it a little bit to be closer. I will start to put these four circles. As you notice here, the difference is that here we have four circles, but I will not just draw it every single time. I will apply a command, but first I will draw a line here to have this circle. So I will go from this point, I will press add key. I will type, let's say 50 and the angle 45. So here I have a straight line with an angle here of 45 degrees. I will draw now a circle and you can see that each of the circles are with the diameter of eight units. So I will go from here and I will type, as you see, is the radius again. So I will type four. I can delete it now. And I will now I will go with the command array. Select object every time read this uh, description. Enter, select polar because we are in the circle, Se specify center point. So this is our center point. Now you can type here four because we have four circles. Close it, delete the circle and let's move on. After that, we will build this line. So the first thing I will build the line right here with 18 units. I'll go at the right side with a line of 43. And then I will go not with 37, I will go with 37 plus 78, so that means 115. I'll start to build the next circle. You can see a diameter of 130. So that means a, a radius of 65. The other circle from the interior, I will activate again to see. So this little circle, has a radius or basically a diameter of 46 so a radius of 23 so from the same center 23 units the next step it will be to build a little wind let's say so we have here four and here three so in total it will be seven so i will start to draw a piece like this a piece like this you can measure it so the exterior circle has 80 units the interior one 46 so i'll apply the calculator actually so 80 minus 46 divided by 2 so 17 now i'll go with the line from here this point with 17 units offset with three units because we must draw some parallel lines for each side but a distance of three so offset three in every part Okay, now delete this line, draw another line from here to here. And now a very important step, make those line longer. I will show you why later. Trim it. And now let's start to apply the polar, the array command again. So array, select object, enter, select polar specify the center and here type seven close it and now you will have a little surprise here because when we will start to trim as you see the first thing i can trim it but the other one i cannot so in this case i will draw some extra lines to be sure that i will trim just what i need and not something more so apply line again and again It's up to you, it doesn't matter too much the lines. 
we will draw these lines just to be sure that our trim command can uh, can perform our method and the last piece and now let's start to trim so use the trim command again and now as you see everything is very very easy now let's delete this extra part Do it also this line why not we don't need it anymore and here we have it okay now let's focus on this side right here so let's draw first a line of 78 from exactly this point so 78 units the next one it's already built right here with 43 units and because here we don't have any angle nothing we just unify them and we will apply later all the radius but first here you see that we have a parallel line with 80 18 so offset 18 and i have it i can delete this one as well this line is with parallel with 20 units so offset again 20 and now let's draw and here again also 20 so now let's draw the arches so use the fillet command, fillet, air from radius. And first one, it will be 14 right here. I hope you see it. This one, it will be 12. So fillet radius 12. Here we have 20 fillet radius 20. Here we have eight. But here we have something very interesting because you see that we have here a radius of 5. So if I will apply fillet radius 5, I cannot apply it. It will be something very weird and I don't need it. But I will apply another command. I will go with draw menu. If you are a Windows user, you can go right here. So I will go with tangent tangent radius. So search this command. Select this one, this one and write 5. Now I will go with mirror command. I'll mirror the circle, enter exactly from this distance, erase the source, yes, I will erase it, and now let's trim. So trim this part, this part as well. Okay, and just this part. Delete it and I can rebuild it. It's not a problem. The next thing, I will apply the same command in two cases, here and here, For so with radius 5 and radius 12. So draw, go with circle, tangent, tangent, radius, select this one, this one, and write 5. The same thing here. So draw, circle, tangent, radius, okay, and write 12 now let's start to trim but to be very sure that everything is fine let's build some extra lines to help us for trimming and here is the next one you see in this little intersection let's trim now so delete 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 as well the same thing here now let's delete this extra lines and start to look very pretty now we have here an arch of 100 with the radius 180 so i will go with not with fillet for this time because fillet is for the interior so i will go for this time with the draw circle tangent tangent radius again so go from the exterior not from the interior because if you are all selected those parts it will build a circle here but we need a bigger one and 80 as well and we have a circle right here so trim again use the trim command 
okay now i delete it you see here that we must build a parallel arch with a distance of 20 so offset 20 select this and now let's start to use the fillet radius again so first time here with 10 and with 12 so fillet radius 10 in this part fillet radius 12 and here we have it every time after you finish every drawing pay attention and verify again and again to be sure that everything is perfectly correct so i hope this video helped you as always thank you for watching and don't forget to like share subscribe and see you next time